This is the old Bethesda Congregational Church on Stanton Street, where we used to go as kids at the ages of about Albert and I were around four, five, six years old, around in that time. That's where we went to Sunday school and went to church. I remember Eddie preaching a sermon one there, one time when it was a youth program. Pastor Gabrielson at that time was our pastor. That house right back there is where Norman Anderson lived. And uh, Albin and Mother Anna lived up in that, in the top floor, I guess, was in that tree decker back there. It's the cornerstone. 1900 to 1917. This, this was uh, built originally by Swedish Adventists and later on the uh, Bethesda Congregational Church, Swedish Congregational Church took it over. Stanton Street from in front of the church going down to Belmont Street down on the bottom. This is what Eddie and <laughs> had this uh, Model T Ford that we got from Landon's and come to church. Grandma says, telling people, well, we have a car now. <laughs> Look at our Model T Ford Roadster. <laughs> the street and probably the house, we think, where Grandpa to the kids or Bapa, uh, Rudy, was born, probably in this house. So he was born at Blodgett Place, and this must be, we figure this must be the place where my dad was born. Did you get that street sign? Oh, yeah. Wonderful how to take it from over there, that, that way, where you get the front porch. Plus, it's hard. You, get, you probably need to get across the street because you can't get much of it. You think it's so big. We could walk up. Think it's a brown house? We could walk up that way. This said, uh, Eddie said there was a steep bank in the back, somewhere to the sidewalk. And he was pushing me in the carriage, and the thing will come over. Unless it's that house here? And it come over the backwards this way. You know, the carriage is pushing it up and it flipped over this way and I come tumbling out of it. I bet Jamie was that house right there. You see, there's a wall. Oh, this is still on. We, be we, we believe this is. We believe this is the house that well, they lived in when I was born. Eddie, Eddie would know better. We'll find out later. This is your birthplace. Yeah, this is my birthplace. Yeah, this is the old houses along Blodgett Place here where I was born. We're not, I'm not sure which one I was born in. Yeah, this is Alvin Carlson. Well, I don't know if you knew about it, but they took a big tumor out of me. Oh. Uh, they left traces of uh, the big C in the liver. Oh. So that was six months ago. He said, you know, I'll give you and six months to a year. And how about the Anderson that ran the store on Empire that's Street? Yeah. That's His Florence. Son, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We know about they, yeah. they, they found it out the we same time as Al. We have the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, that's because yeah. Alvin saw him in yeah. the store. Yeah, we got sure, I lost <laughs> over 50 pounds of thing like that. Yeah, you have lost weight. He said, uh, 
Well, first I came down, with, they said it was a lung infection. Would you want coffee or anything? But I think it was the style of that. At McDonald's? But I dropped weight no, like anything. <laughs> but it's pretty hard to detect. Oh. You've had that asthma problem off and on for years. Yeah, I've so. had asthma since <laughs> I was 40. Yeah. <laughs> and my gosh, I went in the store and bought them. And they were $75 at that time. So they're probably worth a fortune now. Well, there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. The other one's over there. See? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. you know, it goes right with this house, too. Yes, you know? doesn't it? I, I couldn't put it into a small apartment, could I? <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if we moved into a small apartment. Because <laughs> everything is big here, you know. Sure. That's great. You know, see, we have the, so you can shut it off. Boy, that was, a, you know, that was really something then. <laughs> yeah. And my little snowman, Disney things. Oh, well, that thing is not big as big shot that lives here. <laughs> it's not big anymore. <laughs> we had company down from New Hampshire. Uh, oh, last week they went home Monday. So I was busy cleaning and everything before they got here. And uh, so we had a nice visit. Oh, this was Norma. My cousin uh, was married to Norma Nyland. Oh. The Nylands. Oh, she married to Norma. She was married to my cousin. This is in Albert's house. I'm taking some pictures of some of his paintings. You can tell he's been influenced by the coast of Maine. So I guess art kind of runs in our family. Build it up, a churn like they would use in the old country. You know? uh, This is my favorite here. I think that's good, really good. This is the old Junior Bancroft School where I went from, I went from the fifth to the eighth grade here. Albert went to, the fourth grade was here when Albert went. I think the name of the school is up. Julia Bancroft School. Now this is what you call nostalgia. What, what did Albert, did he call, Albert call that First National? There used to be a First National grocery store in that building where Eddie used to work as a teenager, delivering groceries. This is looking south from Julia Bancroft to Stoneville Pond. Up there is Oxford Street going up the hill. Roachdale Road is turned off to the right. There's a bridge and dam right there. Stoneville Pond, looking from Rochdale Road, where Rochdale Road and Oxford Street intersect. Where we used to s skate, and that's where the Lairs used to run, race their ice boats. It comes around here, this is a spillway right here. And there used to be a canal. There used to be a canal go in right here, to it down to the mill off to our right. Julia Bancroft is, is fairly visible up on the top of the hill up there. I'll zoom it, zoom in on it. That's Julia, ba Julia Bancroft School up there. The 
canal used to go right through here. Down used to be what they call Main Street. It went down there and the canal alongside it went down to that textile mill or whatever it was down there. I guess they used water for power. And you get another shot, closer shot of the spillway. This is the spillway from Stonewall Pond. This water runs into, eventually, water runs down, runs into the old Blackstone River. This is going up the hill, Oxford Street. Right there in the middle of that rise on the right is where I had my first accident. That was in Eddie's brand new 1944. That's the bridge over. And the spillway is on, on the other side of that bridge. Went to this creek then down here. Come through here is the canal from Stone. Well, yeah, it's all filled in. It, that run that directed the water from Stoneville Pond down to the mill. Stoneville Pond looking west from the spillway down at Stoneville. That's the spillway down here. Looking west up Rochdale Road. Rochdale Road runs up through there. This is still Stoneville Pond, a little farther up Rochdale Road. Rochdale Road. They've widened this about twice, twice its original width. Filled in all along the pond. Used to be trees all along here. Albert says we used to go swimming right here. Where my, one of my old buddies, John Manfi, used to live. Right up here, across the road from Johnson's Pond, across Rochdale Road. That's the bridge going across from Johnson's Pond to Stonewood Pond. It's uh, Stonewood Pond on that side. There's the, the date, the date marker on this bridge. There used to be some kind of farm, it was a farm over there and there's this boy, Ski, I've forgotten his full name, but they call him Ski, lived over there. And there was a, at one time an old road that went across there with a bridge. The, 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 the bridge was gone before my time. Right there where uh, Leo Berdur fell through the, through the ice. Johnson's Pond here. This is where we used to do most of our hockey playing and skating. That where the brook comes in right up straight ahead of us there. That's the brook that run in back of our house up Wallace Ave. Uh, Johnson had an ice house built into this hill right over here. And they used to cut, in the winter time they'd cut ice and store it in that ice house for a sale in the summertime. Right over about there is where he had a hole cut in the ice where he'd dip water out to feed his horses. And just one morning going to school, walking across here with Richard Adsit and, and uh, Gladys Tannenbring, and it had snowed, and that, uh, it was a skim of ice over that hole and snow had covered it and walking along and I fell in. But my arms caught on the edge of the ice and Dick and Gladys helped pull me out. And I walked on to school. My britches got stiff as boards. That's uh, right up ahead of me there, them signs. That's Wallace Ave. It turns to the left, up through there. This area all on this side was just uh, swampy woods. 
this over here where these gun, uh, townhouses are, all that was just swamp, this big field. Those houses built. Charged their road from north. That street going up here. And that house there at one time was uh, the old North School, one room schoolhouse where Albert went to school in his first grades. All this back up there was Alayers Farms. Bridge back down there, they used to go to this uh, pond and back here where we used to skate. It was all woods out in here. This is the uh, it's Sandy Bar. We come off Rochdale Road. Right over beyond Rosemary was Lover's Lane over that way. We used to pester the lovers. That's Albert walking down to the swimming beach. Over a reservoir out there and right in the middle there is the island where we used to go camping. Right out there. ride the raft out there, huh? Yeah, we used to ride on, on a raft and we'd ride on planks. Paddle out there on planks. That's when we were little kids. Way on the opposite side over there was Hogberg's Beach. That's where we used to usually swim. Oh, that island. We'd camp on that point there. Yeah. And we'd swim right opposite there. That Hogberg. was that was the island there we'd right. camp. And Right over in here was Byland's Point. Snake Beach was over here, remember that? And what was the name of that Swedish Swedish club down there? Skooksblumen Hall. Oh yes. Skooksblumen Hall was down there. Still there, at the end. Right, they have another one. That Swedish club. Right there is uh, Indian Beach. Snake Beach. Huh? We call it Snake Beach. Yeah, yeah Snake Beach, that's right. Well, what was it? Indian Hill or something we call it. I used to try to get up on that hill and shoot crows in the winter time. I could never get near them. Down, down that way goes toward the dam. From the island down toward the dam. Used to be some sand islands out, right out in there. I used to like to come up here and went on the ice and had a triangular sail and sail on this. But boy, I'm telling you, you get some speed. This is from uh, the west side of the dam. And that's out looking out to the oil island out there beyond that point. Snake. Beach is on the other side. Violence Point right there. It goes down to it. Hogbird's Beach where we used to swim most of the time. Come around and this is this is the dam. That's looking at number one dam over there where the old spillway used to be. That little house, that little building right there is uh, where the hand wheels are for raising and lower the gates over by that spillway. Right here was uh, where they raised the gates to the main closure of the dam. But since that time now, they've put this spillway in on this end of the dam, which is Looked kind of strange to us. This is where the water runoff is from the from this spillway. I'm back there is is the back of the dam. Right in the middle there is a deep trough. 
And there used to be a slick tree that grew up maybe about four feet off from the wall. We'd jump out from the wall and grab that slick tree and slide down. It was maybe about six inch diameter at that time. There's Albert walking out to it there. And Rosemary. To get a little closer look, maybe it'd be better. Right here, about where that tree was, where we'd jump off the wall, catch that slick tree and slide down. Here's where the water comes out from the gate, goes down through the woods. This, this is a number one dam in spillway. They've lowered that spillway approximately 30 inches. Right? See the markings on the concrete up there on the wall? It's about where the old spillway was formed. And it used to keep the, I guess it kept the level of the pond a lot higher then. And the water that opened gates down there and let the lower the water, as well as the gates at the number two dam, a lot. That violence point over there looks really looks good. And the island out there looks good. That's a, that really looks good. This is a good angle. In that, in that, a, that's a pretty place, isn't it? Yeah, we've camped on that island many a time. Used to get on a plank and swim out there. And then Eddie built the boat. Of course, we roamed the whole place with the boat. Had it rigged for sailing. And we used to camp on that point right out there, too. At the back of the spillway. That door on that thing, I used to get over behind a tree over here, an old tree, and shoot at it with my 22. One time I was shooting, about the time I shot, Rick come flopping up over the corner of that wall right there. Right there. Made me do my pants. On the salve again the bottom end. That little house on the end down there was built while we were living here. I used to pick up the school bus here and I went to school up on Pack Talk Hill. And that little house over there was built then. That guy was supposed to have been an architectural home designer. This of course was a uh, swamp land. It's now they got these townhouses in here. This house over here was uh, Taylor's house. That's where Gertrude and Fred lived shortly after they were married. And this goes up Honey's Hill, where we used to slide. Doesn't look like much of a hill now, but it was a good sliding hill. And then these houses up here, they were they were here all the time. On the back side of this hill is uh, ledges of rock. We used to walk through on the back side alongside the pond and climbing them rocks. Well, you know Ada Johnson, I think she's still living there. That house up there, that was uh, LaPlante's house. Right up about midway up Honey's Hill. LaPrade lived on the left up there on the left hand side and Honey just below him. And, and this where that car back in there is where uh, Ada Johnson, beyond that car, Ada Johnson lived there. She was a friend of Gertrude's.
Well, I'll start over here. That white house back in there is uh, Tanner Brings Old House. Gertrude lived there for a while. This house right here was Mard's house. They lived there. And this house over here was Landon's house. We used to play in the backyard there, football and baseball. Go up through the woods there up to the to go up to the pond. Uh, that house there was Adz's house. And this house here was the house that, that Albert was, was born when we lived here. And I was not quite two years old when we moved out here. That house down in the woods there is uh, Westland's place. And then just beyond them over there was Rings. They're all going to go for a walk down the, down the backyard. At the entrance to the driveway, Eddie built that pillar and he had a concrete ball fastened to the top of it. Come on, you can do this after we see the Used to be apple trees down through there. There it is. This is the back of the house. All this has been added out from the house. Man, they've, we went through it. it. It's really nicely done. Back in this the, back of that garage. That's all it to what ad, adds its old place. Gotta put a pump on it. And this is down, looking down the hill in back of the house. Oh yeah. A flock of geese, a flock of geese just flew over, and I didn't have time. I didn't see them in time to get them on the film. That's the old well right down there by that tree. That used to be our garden along on the hill there. Used to be the chicken house right over in here. There's some. I bet Grandpa just laid that pile them stones up with a foundation for the chicken house. That's what he's, t he's telling Uncle Eddie or Uncle Albert all this That's stuff. all the old stone well there, going down toward the brook. Yeah, this this boy grew up here now just like when we were. What, what we is were your here. name? Kenneth Buron. Kenneth? Kenneth Buron. Kenneth Buron. Uh-huh. You've been here since you were a baby? No. Uh-huh. So, Look down back of the house. Right down in here was where we had the dam. I don't know if it would show on the pictures or not. And it runs on down, kind of curved that way and then curved again toward the left. One winter we uh, cut cut the wood out of here for firewood and hauled it out. Picture looking from, from the brook up the hill. Stay with this little boy and let, let him tell you. Grandpa cut all, this, all the trees. And not, they didn't, he didn't strip cut it, but he cut a lot of it out of here and used for firewood. <laughs> Up in back of the dam. You're on. He's our guide looking for Rudy Rock. Up in the woods, back of landing. Lives in our old house on Walls Ave. It's a rapids down here back of the dam. It's like that previous shot that I made. This is over in the area where Rudy Rock is, but we can't find it. 
Right down there is where we used to catch suckers with our hands in the spring. Feel under the rocks and catch the suckers. Those big birches that were up there near Rudy Rock. They're dead now. Here's one leaning against another tree. And we noticed some uh, initials carved in it. That looks like L N maybe uh, 6, 15, 28 or something like that. Old. I think I'll look and see. For Rudy Rock, we came up here on the opposite side of the dam from where we were before, earlier. This is the old spillway, which has been lowered from its original height. There's Rose, Albert, and that boy looking out over the reservoir. The woods here is really beautiful. Laurel, Mount Laurel has really grown a lot. Here's where the walking through the woods up toward first dam, through is, the old path. This is Kenny Buron, our guide. Yeah, he our guide, our, Kenny Buron. This is in the house I was born in. Right. He has that on there five million times. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Lundgren's old house right here. That's looking up Wallace Ave toward where we live. That was Johnson's house over there. And that's their little store building we used to go to, right in there. Only the Rosier's house. That's the corner going up to Upper Wallace Ave. That's where I had the bicycle rack, right on that corner. This here is new. We stopped right here at Stanley's own, Lundgren's own house. And who oh, comes yeah. along with you? No, we didn't. We looked all over. You couldn't find Rudy, Rock? No. Oh, my grandsons could show you where it is. I have them on. This is Priscilla, Stanley's granddaughter. Hurry, hurry. Hi. Hey. You remember Rudy? This is the old Auburn High School where I went from my uh, junior year to the senior year. I'll zoom in on the name up there. Auburn High School. Quite a place. They've enlarged on this thing tremendously since I was 